Hello, thanks for joining me for another video beer review. Really do appreciate it. And we have a beer from Vocation. I haven't had a beer from Vocation for a long time. And I've had this beer a little while actually. But um, this is Roll With It, a double dry hopped pale ale then. And it's coming at 5.2% ABV. This was very kindly given to me by the brewery quite a while ago. Uh, I, I might add, um, up to the point where this label, I don't think it's yellow anymore. I think it's a green colour, but I think it's the same beer, pretty much sure of that. Mind you, this has got a best before the 9th of July of 2022, so we're fine there. Um, so these guys are out of, uh, where is it? Yeah, Hebden Bridge in, is it North Yorkshire? Yorkshire, I know, but, or is it still part of West Yorkshire? Might be North Yorkshire, I don't know. Um, so vocationbrewery.com is the website so this is a 5.2% uh, it's being classed as a New England hazy pale ale on untapped uh, 440ml can um, yeah brewed in cans with a vocation brewery limited um, we brew bold beers from my hilltop in Yorkshire we'd rather set benchmarks than trends only making beer that we're proud of to put our name on. It's what drives us and what made us. It's our vocation. Um, this is a this is our free and easy pail with a su super juicy hops and a pillowy soft mouthfeel. This is perfect beer for the good times in life. It's hazy, hoppy, and dangerously drinkable. Let's roll. So there you go. Don't know what hops are in this. It doesn't actually state it anywhere on the can or an untapped there. So um, we'll just roll with it, I guess. So. It's um it's got a black ring pull which is quite which is quite interesting and striking. I haven't had a vocation beer for a while. I remember reviewing some of their core range beers back when I kind of the first year I started. I mean th this brewery is quite well known in supermarkets now of course. I think this beer is actually in supermarkets now. Um, this was given to me before it hit them shelves. So, uh, but yeah, um, I think where did I get their beers from? I think it was. I think it's now they're out of business now. It used to be ales by mail, um, but yeah. So we've got a one finger pure white, quite tightly packed, bubbled head uh, into the light. It's 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 slightly hazy, but it, uh, but it's not kind of crazy. In that haze, but it looks the part. It looks really kind of nice and tidy in the glass. Nice orangey in colour. So let's get an aroma then on this one. All right, okay. Nice, um, almost like lemon meringue. Yeah, pineapple chunks in jelly, but not overly sweet. Maybe a bit of melon. Um, yeah, grapefruit. There's also a slight, slight muskiness to it, which is quite nice. A little bit of that aromatics coming on there. Wildflowers. Maybe a touch of honey. Honeydew melon, maybe something like that. It smells really nice, so let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, very soft, very delicate. Nice lemon. Oh, you're definitely getting that melon, honeydew melon kind of kind of deal there. Light citrusy notes. Mm. Leaving a lovely lace in there on the glass. Not overly carbonated. Slightly sweet at the front end, but it doesn't kind of hang around too much, which is always uh, decent. It kind of mellows out or balances out, shall I say. There's a slight smidge of bitterness there, but... Very well rounded beer, very um, no kind of rough edges with this one. 
lovely soft pillowy mouth feel as I've said but it's leaving that with kind of a nice residual um, almost to the point of um, lemon meringue kind of puff pastry slightly kind of creamy mouth feel quite a delicate no hint of the ABV of course quite a low medium body very easy drinking These guys do some fantastic stouts, but I haven't actually got round to trying all of them. I've had I've had a few. Um, most a lot of the um, they've got quite a few stouts in the supermarkets they brought out. I've, I think I've I've had one, but I can't. What one was it? Without trying to nudge the uh, I'm gonna lock the tripod here and I hang on two seconds. We'll get there. I've got the can there somewhere. Uh, quite a while back. Ah, it was that sweet temptation chocolate caramel stout. That's fantastic. That was in the supermarket a while back, um, which was very enjoyable. Let's don't fall over this chair. There we go. We got there in the end. But yeah, back to this beer then. It's a very easy drinking beer, as I've said. It looks the part, and it really does taste the part. Nice soft. Lovely kind of lemony notes as well. Lemony pithy kind of slightly a, a, a smidge of lemon juice in there as well. Give it that little bit of extra bite and, and, and kind of zestiness. That's beautiful. That is fantastic. Well. Let me know if you've had this one before. Um, as I say, it's in a green can now, I believe. But um, this is Vocation Brewery, and this is their roll with it. A double dry hopped pale ale at 5.2% ABV. Check it out. It's definitely worth picking up. If it is in a supermarket, I don't even know. I don't go in the supermarkets that often, checking and stuff. So, uh, But yeah, really nice. like that. like that quite a lot. So let me know. Um, I've got um, a little playlist of vocation beers from quite a while ago now in in, in that list. So um, before pre supermarket uh, beers and uh, one or two since, of course. Um, so do check them out. All the social media outlet links will be down below in the description, as always. And thank you for watching. <laughs>